Hey guys, from 4 here. Today I'm going to show you how to get photos from your iPod Touch or your iPhone onto um onto the onto your computer. So, a lot of you probably know that how to get photos from your computer onto your iPod, but you probably don't know how to get photos from um from the iPod from the iPod to the computer. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. So you actually don't need iTunes at all. All you need to do is plug in your iDevice, and you should get this autoplay thing. If you do not get this, um, you might have set it off, but um, then you can just go into the device file folder. But it's much easier if you click on the second one, import pictures and videos. So you're going to want to click on that one. That's what I recommend. And it's going to search for some photos and videos on the device. Come on. It usually doesn't take that long. I have a lot of photos on my my iPod, so. Alright, it's finding some photos. Alright, here we go. This also works for videos too, I forgot to mention that, I'm sorry. Alright, I got like 100 something videos on my, and photos on my iPod, so, just be patient. Alright, so you're, I recommend to do review, organize, and group items to import because you probably don't do the file name. So, uh, dot the first one and then click next. And these are all the pictures, and they're uh, by default they are filed on uh, dates, I think, by um, one day. Yeah. So um, you can check off the photos you want to uh, install to your computer. And I'm just going to uh, install some. I already installed most of them. So I will install the new ones that I, down, that I uh, took. So that will be this one, this one, and this one. It even shows you the file picture. It shows you pictures, and if you open it up, it will show you all the pictures. And so once you check them off, make sure you, all your photos are checked off, and then you're going to want to click Import. And it's importing the photos and videos as we speak. But um, since it does not have to do with iTunes, uh, you don't even have, it doesn't even say sync in progress. You can do anything on your iPod you want. And since I only did three photos, it is already done. It takes a little while for a ton of photos though. So as you can see, I just downloaded these photos here. Um, I'm not sure why this one didn't show up yet. There we go. Um, it is a PNG file, not a GPG file. So I recommend getting a converter software so you can um, you know upload it to Google Images and things like that. So I'll just show you, you can um, open up the photo. It's a little blurry, but it's pretty good. Videos are really good quality. Um, let me try and find a video. It's way at the beginning. I'll look in. Uh, here we go. So, like, um, I'll show you this video. You can view these in the. Um, hold up. Let me just open it in a different. Open it with real player. It's probably the best. It's really good quality. Trust me. It takes a little while to uh, download a video, but that's all right. So, it should come up in a second. There we go. All right. All right. See there's the jump off. It's a little um. I think the iPod camera doesn't have many um. 
like it doesn't have any many frames per second um so it's a, it's like a little you know the quality's great but it's like you know a little like laggy or whatever you can call it delay like i'll show you you can tell it's like kind of it's really like laggy i have no idea why so that's why i recommend a regular video camera if you're going to take a ton of videos not you know an iphone or ipod touch so um that's funny um so yeah that's how you do it it's simply how you do it and watch for my other videos and i'll see you next time bye